today is September 30th, 2005, this thread had been, had been operated on the removal of a lump on the right axillary, axillary limit. There's a swelling there, which you can see in the other video before the operation. Now this, this lump is a very unusual one. It's not really a breast tumor, although this thread had a breast tumor on the left side. MG345. This is the right side, MG1, more on the armpit. There was a loose a mess under the armpit. It's been removed by Dr. Daniel. Now, my point is that whether the owner likes it or not, always show the owner what has been removed. This is a good practice because sometimes there may be a recurrence, maybe a a bit later, especially if it's cancerous, and then the owner will say, well, you didn't really remove all, or you didn't really remove at all, because, I mean, you have not shown shown the owner that you have done it. So, this like the mechanic, some of them, they really show you the spare parts removed and put it in the car seat, but uh, whether they, these are the actual spare parts or not, we don't know, or the defective parts. But in the red, it's unlikely that vet can find something similar to show the owner and uh, it will be un unethical to do so. So as you can see from here, now this uh, flat mass looks more like uh, bleeding subcutaneous tissues which has uh, grown, grown in, uh, in size. Now, what is it? We just have to advise the owner to do a histology. Now, once we advise, we record now. Now, whether the owner wants to do or not, that is her prerogative. And we cannot say that we, we uh, did not advise her should there be any uh, recurrence or relapses. And this we record down in the surgery book. And of course, pre preferably to give the owner a copy as well that Histology has been advised, and uh, and for both parties, especially family members who have who are not present at the consultation, at least there is uh, evidence of uh, care that you care to to, to advise. Because, as I said, that uh, many owners are not very well informed. Now, although although this uh, this. Uh, about how many cent how many meters? How many centimeter? This is about uh, it's a flat tissue under the armpit, about five. Now this could be lymphoid uh, tumors or even precancerous breast tissues. But uh, but uh, the only definite diagnosis would be through histology. So we just advise and keep the uh, record keep it in writing in the, in the medical records and then the owner will be quite happy that uh, that she has been advised and uh, whether she does or not it, it is up to the owner to accept or, or decline the advice now this red I would say that uh, it's best not to not to bandage so so, so thoroughly because uh, some of them I really don't like it and as you can see, that's because the armpit has been operated on. Now, rats and hamsters, they, they, they're quite sensitive to all this bandaging. So, uh, so when, when she wakes up, so you, you, you have to take out the bandage. But you gotta, you gotta stay, stay out with her the whole night. And if you find that the rat can't breathe or have difficulty in breathing, then quickly take it out because uh, this is a very small animal. It's unlike a cat or dog, where actually they have a big lungs, lung capacity, and uh, so you can see. Of course, we need to bandage to stop the bleeding, but uh, I would I would say that uh, it's better not to bandage for more than 24 hours uh, because sometimes they are stressed out. They just try to get rid of it, but they can't and uh, by struggling 
struggling to get, get rid of this uh, uh, bandage, they, they just die of uh, fright mm. or stress, die of stress. Mm. And uh, bearing in mind that uh, this is not a dog or, or a cat which is uh, bigger in size and has more lung capacity. And so stress is uh, in, in uh, rats, hamsters and mice, they are so easily stressed out. Uh, and birds also, yeah. so it's best not to restrain them in uh, tight. Although it doesn't look tight, doesn't look tight, but uh, to us it doesn't look tight. But to the rat, after waking up from anaesthetic, it might be very restricting. And so I think you have to stay overnight yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, just take it out. And there might be some bleeding, but the other way is just to to uh, bandage just 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 below the armpit and across the mm. the uh, just um. a flare figure eight nah. mm. just go around it but uh, many of these cases it's best not to do it yeah, after 24 hours.